Hi everyone and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from my indie productions and today I'm going to be reviewing 2018's horror short Echoes, written and directed by Hungarian indie filmmaker Joseph Galai. This will be the second time we review one of Joseph's films after having reviewed his 2016 horror feature, A Guidebook to Killing Your Ex, in the very first episode of my indie review vlog. Thank you, Joseph, for sharing yet another film with us. The story follows a middle-aged man, portrayed by Sean Michael Clanky, who lives with his infant child in a remote cabin in the woods. The man seems to be well adjusted to the secluded environment. We get a sense of everyday routine as he has breakfast and prepares food for his baby and tends to house chores and mundane activities of that sort. Things start to get weird when he begins to see uh, strange characters lurking in the woods and around his home. The sightings become more and more frightening, forcing him to seriously consider the safety of his infant child. The film has a slow, eerie rhythm to it right in the beginning. The visual feel gives a slight dissonance from the somewhat endearing premise of a parent caring for his baby. The color grade is uh, governed by cold gray and blue tones, and in addition to that, the visuals are complemented with non-diegetic sounds that are laid as undertones. Sort of a way to tell us that something is wrong within the world of the film, even before advancing the plot. With very little dialogue, most of what we learn comes from a fairly static and minimalistic visual language. Every shot has its own aesthetic and is carefully composed to convey important information. Joseph cleverly reveals important details about the plot using shots that interestingly have missing elements in them. These are left for us, the viewers, to spot and try and interpret. I suppose you can say that the filmmaking techniques used to tell the story successfully feed our curiosity as viewers. To create intrigue using slow pace and restrained cinematography is not an easy feat. It risks losing the viewer's interest before the story gets going. But as I said in my review of A Guidebook to Killing Your Ex, uh, filmmaker Joseph Galai has a flair for storytelling, and he did a good job in this film as well. To sum up, even though the film has its issues, it gives an interesting experience and holds up very well in its 21-minute runtime. Echoes gets a 7 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. The film is still on its festival run, so keep an eye out for its release. Until next time, keep supporting indie film. My name is Asaf Angel. I thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog.